Storm chances movies later this morning and this afternoon with a risk of severe storms, including some tornado threat and continued threat of lightning heavy rain. Then, well, how's Thanksgiving looking? Well, I'll give you a hint, we're already looking towards next weekend for another chance of storms and what could be a pretty potent cold front. Let's talk about it in this Monday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Hi there and good morning. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. We're going to get straight into it, but I do want to thank you for taking time out of your busy day to pop on in for some Texas weather information. Also, and I guess good timing considering the thunderstorm threat today, we have our 2026 weather calendar on sale now. This helps support our amazing team of photographers, storm chasers here at Texas Storm Chasers. Helps us bring you that amazing weather coverage you've come to depend on during, well, days like this. So uh, we've got that tagged here in the video and magical YouTube land. Uh, if you want to check it out, go for it. It makes a great Christmas gift as we start looking ahead to that season. But without further ado, let's pop in. Let's start with Severe Weather Outlook. This is going to be from the Storm Prediction Center, and we do have a level 2 out of 5 risk for scattered severe storms late this morning through the afternoon hours. I'm going to say 10 to 11 a.m. on the onset through probably uh, this evening. Uh, whenever storms move into Louisiana and off the Gulf Coast, uh, watching the Brazos Valley, Central Texas, East Texas, the Piney Woods of East Texas, the Toledo Bend Reservoir, into parts of the Northern Golden Triangle. Uh, this is mostly going to be along and east of 35 uh, to the Arklatex and the Louisiana State Line. Most intense storms today. We're going to be watching for localized damaging winds of 60 to 70 miles an hour, large hail, and the possibility of a few tornadoes, unlike yesterday. Uh, Low-level wind shear is a lot stronger today, and we are concerned that we could be dealing with some tornado issues going through the late morning and afternoon hours, so please remain weather aware and have a way to receive weather warnings. Uh, don't get all freaked out and anxious. Trust me, as someone who grew up scared to the willies of storms and thunder and all that, I, I get storm anxiety. I really do understand it. But understand where I'm coming from, you're better off than 95% of people because you already know about the risk today. So it's going to be okay. We're going to be here, and we're not guaranteed to have tornado issues today, but we'll be keeping a close eye on things. Let's take a look at the high rise rapid refresh model. Now, going to start off this morning with storms, North Texas, Central Texas. By this afternoon, late this morning, early this afternoon, storms become reinvigorated. Brazos Valley, East Texas, Northeast Texas, those are going to move to the east, northeast. We could have individual storms fire up kind of out by their lonesome in the Brazos Valley, East Texas, late this morning, early this afternoon, while the main line of storms may still be farther west. If we get those discouraged storms to fire up, uh, we're going to have an issue with tornado warnings and stuff like that, so we're going to keep a close eye on that. Storms in that line late this afternoon and this evening, damaging winds, a large hair with the stronger storms. Not all of them are going to be severe, but we'll also have to keep an eye out for a few tornadoes. All of that is going to move east this evening overnight. You can see by, you know, I'll just let this play out. You know, by lunchtime, it's over for DFW. Skies clear out. Blue arrows indicate wind direction. You can see west-northwest winds. By late this evening, storms move off into the Gulf, off the upper Texas Gulf Coast, Louisiana, and that marks the end of it. Now, here is something new. You can see this model is trying to fire up some pretty heavy storms Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning in South Texas, the Rio Grande Valley. That's not something I had explicitly forecast before, whether it was an oversight on my part or not. Now, who knows? Probably, let's be honest. Uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on that, though, if that's right, for heavy rain, maybe some stronger storms down in South Texas Tuesday evening into early Wednesday morning. But otherwise, cool front's going to move through the northern 80% of Texas tomorrow with north winds and an end to the rain chances and hopefully some drier air as well. And once that happens, most of the state's done with rain through Saturday. Here's the upper air pattern going through the week from the European weather model. And we are going to be relatively calm outside of South Texas until this weekend when rain chances increase across the state as a area of surface low pressure takes shape, moves across the plains. That, with a trailing cold front, 
could bring some storms to the eastern half of Texas this weekend. And maybe, if temperatures are cold enough, we might see some snow in the panhandle. I'm not saying it's going to be an accumulating snow event or anything like that, but eh, we might see a bit of snow. We'll see going into Sunday and Monday of next week. Here is the European weather model showing simulated radar. You can see Wednesday, Thursday, it's all quiet, calm. Friday night into Saturday, storms, eastern half of the state possible, maybe a few snow flurries, much cooler air trying to filter in behind that system with what could be a pretty decent cold front. Uh, if you've been keeping an eye on social media, you've likely seen something about Arctic cold front, Arctic outbreak around the 1st of December. Yeah, there may be a pretty good cold snap coming to parts of the United States around then, but what impact we get here in Texas is to be determined. Uh, you know, it could just be something that knocks us down to early December averages where things are chilly. You know, highs in the 40s, lows, you know, where they should be for early December, below freezing. Or it could be a bit colder than that. We'll see. Uh, there's no good long-range consistency at this point. It ranges from holy moly guacamole, that is really stinking cold, to, yeah, it's early December. What do you expect? We'll see. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So uh, here's the Climate Prediction Center long-range outlook. You can see we are starting to see cooler temperatures filtering in from the north. Now, it's going to get stinking cold up north. There's much higher confidence about that. But here in Texas, eh, question is, is that cold air going to kind of stick to the eastern side of the continental divide and sneak on down here into the southern plains? Or, like we've seen back in November, is most of the cold air going to get shunted off to the east of us and we just get, you know, a skirting blast? We'll see. That, that's the honest truth. Uh, we'll see how data revolves around the next few days, but uh, well, let's get past today before we deal with that. And then the precipitation outlook, well, you can see everything's all happy, pretty, and looking above average, so I mean, maybe someone will get snow. No, thank you. Anyway, here's temperatures over the next five days. Today, highs, we're looking at 80s. Southeastern third of the state, 93 in McAllen this afternoon. Four days before Thanksgiving, and it's 93 in McAllen is what it is, right? 77 San Antonio, 72 in DFW, 60s Panhandle, onto the borderland of far west Texas. Tomorrow, 50s for highs in the Panhandle. Everyone else, mostly in the 60s and 70s. We still have 80s along the coast, southeast Texas, south Texas, 91 in McAllen, down at deep south Texas, as cooler air starts to filter in behind a cool front Wednesday. Uh, busy travel day. Weather-wise, we're going to be fine in Texas. Uh, very little in the chance of precipitation. Uh, northern half of the state highs, how about 50? So definitely uh, much cooler than it has been, but about where we should be for Thanksgiving week. Still in the 60s, 70s, southern half of the state. On Thursday, a bit of a warm-up up in West Texas, the Panhandle for Thanksgiving. A decent Thanksgiving highs, you know, statewide, 50s, 60s, 70s along and south of Interstate 10 with 80s down in deep south Texas. And here's Friday, mostly 60s, 70s across the state, 50s northern Panhandle and the Arklatex, low 80s down in deep south Texas before our weekend storm system. So uh, we'll be keeping an eye on storms today across the state. Please stay weather aware if you're across the eastern half of the state and We'll get you through it. Live weather coverage. We've had a live stream going on Texas Storm Chasers YouTube, our website and mobile app for the past day. That's going to keep going. And if we have any tornado warnings in the state or high-end severe weather or major flash flooding, we'll have live streams not only on YouTube, our website and mobile app, but on Facebook, X, Twitch as well. So we'll be there for you. That's what we do here at the Texas Storm Chasers and... That's all she wrote. So, thanks for popping on in this morning. That's it. Coming to you from Fredericksburg, Texas. We'll keep an eye on the sky. And we'll keep you up to date. Y'all have an amazing day. If we don't get to talk to you again, until later, have a good one. And God bless.